they'll take the next step up the ladder before they've got the previous step right where it should be. I probably won't, I will not in most cases go the next step until I'm satisfied the previous step is correct. And with stallions, you get a little more determination. I'm getting enough determination here. So we're going to repeat this until, as the eagles say, hell freezes over, or he can do it my way. And the vast majority of them, I assure you, end up doing it my way. Ah, this is good. Yeah. I've got very little in my hand right now, waiting beautifully. Yes, there we go. Release. All right. Downward transition. Uh, all of a sudden, that downward transition isn't taking much. So you, something switched right there, and he said, okay. He said, yes. When you're training horses, always listen for yes. Because when they say yes... It's yes, lighten up, stop, stop asking anymore because they've, they've said, I'll, I'll do it, I'll cooperate. Good boy, yes, yes. Oh, no, there's a jump. Now that's a jump. That's when you start to, <laughs> that's a good feeling. The gallop was good. I knew five or six strides away it was going to be a good jump because the gallop was good. He put his eye on it. He went to it. He's got his eye on it. He's going to it. And ask, tell, good boy. Very good, very good. Good boy. Happier about the back up. Yep. And that left direction left becomes better and better all the time starts to yield to that left hand this is the joy of training I got to tell you when you can when you can elicit this cooperation and mold them mold their bodies by by molding their minds it's an extremely satisfying thing to do in this horse's body. He's like a little coiled spring. Not a big horse, but tremendous power. Ah, very good, very good. Jaw down a little bit on landing through the corner. 